Hello, my friends. It's I, Katie Rubin, your friendly neighborhood, modern mystic, <coughs> energy healer, <laughs> divine light channel. Good to see you guys. Happy Monday. Hello, 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 hello. Um, if you're in the northern Florida area, you may be aware, last night at First Coast Comedy, there was an incredible improv jam showcase. It was a goddamn delight. We had a blast. The folks who come to the jam got to do a performance, get some stage time. All their friends and family came out and supported. So it was like just a festive, fun night. And this is just a shout out to all y'all, any of y'all who were there and anybody who came. Just what a treat. It was just like a solid show and a fun time. So I was thrilled to be there. Um, I've got your three card spread. I opened the Akashic Records of you, the folks who will see this and benefit from it. And here's what we have. So in the recent past, we've got, this is an interesting spread. It's, um, it's very, it's pretty directive. Like it's clear about what it's saying to you. <laughs> okay, so in the recent past, we have the Metamorphosis card. Beautiful card in this particular deck. I don't really understand the, I guess, flamingos because they molt their feathers. Is molting a word that's relevant to birds or is that just for snakes? I mean, we have the butterfly who was a caterpillar. I get that. But the flamingos and they have like fish patterns on them. I don't know what's happening, but it's very pretty. The present moment, uh, 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 the dragon's lair with the scary man down here who knows what he's up to. And this is made of ice and there's a dragon. Rah! And the outcome is uh, the making a choice card. Okay. Okay. We're not going to panic. We're just going to understand. We're going to breathe through our realities. We're going to take life one step at a time. Anything we do beyond that is... It's just gonna fuck with us, you guys, so there's no point. Just one moment at a time. You know the idea that there is no future and there is no past? This kind of reading, God, any kind of reading, is a great instigator for us to lean into the concept that there is no future and there is no past. Like, the way they say this in the 12-step rooms is, look at where your feet are. Where are your feet? They're here. So what is relevant? What's relevant is what's happening here, where your feet are. Why? Because your body and your heart are right here where your feet are. Last night is over. Tomorrow's not here yet. None of it's guaranteed. It could all go away in 20 seconds. So being present in the now is what helps us navigate and get through moments like that and handle decisions like this when we're coming from energies like this. So let's read about it. Metamorphosis. You're in the process of deep and beautiful change. Butterflies earn their wings through great effort. The process of change is often painful, for it is never without losses and sacrifices. If you are to transform from one form to another, a part of you needs to die. And this is the part that people don't like about transformation, healing, activation, waking up, and change. We don't understand and we don't like that we have to let go of something. Some actual aspect of you has to go bye-bye in order for anything else to be born. You don't get to just drag your old self into your new consciousness and expect to be able to create from there. You have to literally choose to let a part of you die. Letting go isn't easy, <coughs> especially when you're used to thinking a certain way about your life and how to live it. Just as a snake sheds its dead skin or a caterpillar dies so that a butterfly can be born, you're required to release your old ideas and embrace a necessary change so you can live, <coughs> excuse me, your best life. Perhaps you're being asked to let go of low self-worth, a dream that no longer serves you, a relationship that is draining or unhealthy habits. Despite your fear, you must accept that this is a transformational time for you. There will be some loss involved, but you'll love what you become. Consciousness is aware that you're going to it's going to you're going to have to lose some shit and it's not pretending, "Oh, just step into your new life and everything will be easy and you get to be who you were and there won't be any discomfort at all." Not at all. Um you're going to there's going to be some loss involved. Okay? But You'll love what you become. And I love that consciousness acknowledges that. You know, I don't know, whenever I'm channeling for clients in my healing sessions with people, there's never a lack of acknowledgement from the realms beyond of what we're going through in our human form. They're always acknowledging, we know this is hard, we know this is difficult, we know it feels painful in your body. They understand the difficulty of being in a human form. 
they don't experience it in the same way, but they understand how we experience it. And they're not thoughtless about that. Meaning consciousness or the divine light itself is not like, just deal with it, humans. Consciousness is like, I get it, it's hard, but also here's how you move forward. All right, so having been through a bunch of transformation, we find ourselves in the dragon's lair. Uh-oh. You have a remarkable, remarkable internal warning system that lets you know when things are out of alignment. You're about to enter dangerous territory, so dread caref tread carefully and be aware of your surroundings. The path you're on now is one that will challenge you to the core. That said, peril is also exciting and exhilarating, like the danger you feel before you enter a new relationship, knowing that you'll be changed forever. A life lived fully isn't lived only in safety. A new experience is calling to you, one that will test your courage. The choice is yours, but there is greater value in risk-taking than remaining unchallenged. New territories are waiting to be discovered. Boom. I'll tell you something, I got this card when I was on my way to New York from Colorado. I had a very treacherous, difficult journey to New York, but I'll tell you something, I would not trade that year in the Hudson Valley, in Beacon, and all my people that I became friends with who are now like soul peeps to me, I wouldn't change that, change that, trade that time for anything. I plan to go back there three, four, five, whatever, however many times a year they'll have me, because <laughs> I love it so much there. Um, it wasn't the right place for me to live, but that experience and what I gained from it, I wouldn't trade it, but let me tell you what, I got this card as I was heading on that drive and I had tire blowouts and getting trapped in a U-Haul in the middle of a lightning storm in Kansas, up the hill, down the hill, bad brakes, 18 wheelers behind me, really narrow freeways. It was a hard journey and squeezel and I persevered. So just because something is difficult and I like, again, here's the universe telling us, it's not always gonna be pumpkin pie every second. But just because it's challenging doesn't mean it's not worth where you're headed. All right. And then the outcome card. Boop, 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 boop. We have to <clears throat> make a choice, bitch. You're required to come to a decision now. You're faced with a dilemma or a fork in the road and must make a conscious choice regarding the next right action. Whatever that choice is, you must take responsibility for it. Yet, you needn't be afraid. You may not have all the answers right now because the way ahead can't be known until you've embarked and traveled a few steps. Trust your intuition, ask for a sign from spirit, <coughs> excuse me, and you'll be led to the right path. If you remain conscious and aware, your choice will be the right one at this time. Life is always about learning. Success lies in choosing consciously guided by intuition and spirit. I like this part of this. You wanna take responsibility for it, don't be afraid. You have, you may not have all the answers you need because the way ahead can't be known until you've embarked and traveled a few steps. So many times with my clients when we're getting psychic awareness for them, they wanna know like, what's gonna happen? How's it gonna go? How's it gonna play out? And the universe's response is regularly, do these next three things and then you'll see how it plays out. It's not up to you to know everything about how everything's gonna play out. Our task is to take the next indicated action and trust. And trust is not easily won. Trust is something you build over time. Speaking of trust, it says, trust your intuition, ask for a sign from spirit and you'll be led to the right path. You know that intuition is how spirit communicates with you. Your body's desires and intuitive hits, that's spirit talking through your form. It's why we have a physical form. It's how we're meant to function. We're supposed to listen to the physical form so that we know what the hell to do. So anytime you're dissociating away from your physical form, just know you're pulling yourself away from the guidance system that was given to you by the universe. If you remain conscious and aware, your choice will be the right one at this time. Life is about learning, success lies in choosing consciously, guided by intuition and spirit. Listen, you're a good human being. Be kind to yourself. You're doing your best. There's a lot going on. You've been going through some heavy change in the recent past. It's a sort of somewhat treacherous climb at this moment, but risk-taking breeds rewards and growth requires risk-taking. The outcome is you may be facing some kind of big decision and choice, but if you ask for intuitive awareness and spiritual guidance, you'll get it, mofo. You'll get it. So 
A um, couple things, what do I have for you? Friday, the 18th, this Friday of this week, I believe. I, I don't know, what, what is time? What is time? Friday the 18th, my uh, highest level healing class begins again. This is a five week energy healing class. You, we're gonna integrate EMDR and EFT into this class. I'm very excited about it. EFT is the tapping technique to release trauma from the body. EMDR is rapid eye movement. Um, you can do it with sound or tapping uh, to, de to rewire and reconnect the two hemispheres of the brain that get disconnected through trauma. Five weeks of energy healing, Fridays, 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern time, plus you get one private session with me built into the cost of the class. Um, message me if you're curious about that. Um, Star Beings class is going to be a daytime class this round. I'm going to have info about when that starts soon. But if you're curious about Star Beings, message me and I'll fill you in. Writing and alignment starts again this Thursday, the 17th. If you're writing anything and could use some support, guidance, direction, and a group to write with each week, hop on in, bitches. All the information you need about all this stuff is at katierubin.com, K-A-T-I-E-R-U-B-I-N.com. Also, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to pull up a calendar here because I'm going to be doing a special healing, group healing event. Let me give you the date when this is happening. <laughs> this will be an event to uh, bring all your questions about your current life situation to. Today, we're over here. So we're going to do this on Sunday, no, the 20, no, Saturday the 26th. I'm going to do a group healing and question and answer session on Saturday the 26th. Um, I'll include a link here in this attached to this video and in all of our promo everywhere um but this is a, a healing event to come to it's a one-off you come on on zoom you join us it'll probably be two hours maybe an hour and a half i'll have to see and bring all your questions you have for consciousness and be prepared for some powerful energy healing we're going to do a healing we're going to answer all your questions it's gonna be a ton of fun uh that 